何も怖くないもう恐れないあなたと黒にいろいろなれたこの運命と明日の記憶きっつり期待で探す手をかざし流れる血を見てた変えられない宿命と波打つ鼓動決して交わることない闇と光の狭間が出会うようにここから始まるストーリー聞かれて I'm coming with you. Excuse me. You can't, Jiro. Besides, this isn't your problem. Let her handle it. Let me go. Why are you so hard headed? Kasa, you can't let him do this. Alice, please let go. No, Jiro, I won't let you. Good grief. Move aside and let me handle this, Alice. There, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Now he'll stay out of my way. Alice! Don't let her do this! Shut up, Sub-Lieutenant. It seems that you've forgotten who you're talking to. Now let's go. Kasa! We're leaving, Alice. to get back than I thought. I sure hope Mimi has some food waiting for me. Get a load of this kid. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice vest. Your parents rich? Who are you guys? Us? We're just a bunch of nobodies. <laughs> hey, you got some money, right? How about sharing a little with us? You better do what we say or we'll sell you to some sick pervert who's into little kids like you. <laughs> You're a bunch of bullies! And you won't get away with this! I'm gonna make sure you never hurt anyone again! Right. So what do you guys think? Should we teach him a lesson? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you need a hand? So we meet again, Kataro. <laughs> That's right. Keep running. So what are you doing here? Um, well, I guess I... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Zellman! The food was delicious! Just don't forget that I helped you out. And now you owe me one, so you have to help me out when I need it. <laughs> Casa the Black Snake is here. How exciting. You seem really happy about it. <laughs> I missed out on all the best battles back in Hong Kong, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, listen to me, Mr. Zellman. The Special Zone's in great danger. You really need to start taking this seriously. Don't be so uptight, kid. And besides, who are you to talk anyway? You're the one who ran away from your brother, and now you're just wandering around the city, lost. I... I'm not wandering around the city, lost. I came to find Mimi so she could help us out. What could she possibly do for you now? I don't... know. I thought maybe she could talk some sense into brother for me. Oh, really? 
Just what makes you think she could do that? Well, I don't know how to put it into words, but I just know she can help. And things can't stay the way they are now. It's all wrong. But I don't know, maybe Brother's right. Maybe this is better. Everything's just been so complicated lately, I really don't know what's going on anymore. No, I think you're mistaken. What? You do understand because it's in your blood, Kataro. The blood passed down to you. It contains all the wisdom of your ancestors and it is what makes you a vampire. Listening to the voices of the past can be difficult. But when you've lost your way and find yourself truly alone, then simply silence your mind and heed the flow of your blood. It's the one thing that will never betray you. But the day that you no longer listen to those voices is the day your bloodline will die. You have to trust it. That is the true way of our kind. It is the only way we Black Blood survive. Thanks very much, Mr. Zellman. <laughs> well, I guess I should keep looking for Mimi. I'll help you. Huh? I have something I need to discuss with Mimiko as well. So you'll help me find her? All right! <laughs> we should get started right away. The special zone's in a real mess, and I don't want to leave Mimi out there alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're pretty strong, aren't you, Mr. Zellman? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder if you're stronger than this Casa person. What do you think? Are you? <laughs> Listen, Mimiko, I don't think this is going to work. If we keep this up, our chances of finding the Silver Blade are less than one in a million. But we have to keep looking. We don't have a choice. We can start by hitting all the hotels in town. So innocent. I suppose that's one of the strengths of the Red Bloods. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, can you tell me anything else about the Eleventh Yard? I find it hard to believe that it's really nothing more than an urban legend. And why is that? Did you know that the conception of the Special Zone coincides directly with the beginning of the company and that the Order Coffin Company is the de facto group calling the shots in the Special Zone? If there really is some sort of Hong Kong legacy here, it would be odd for the company not to know about it. And when people have questions regarding the Eleventh Yard, the company is the first place they go, am I right? I suppose that's true. Just think about it, Mimiko. The company is even keeping secrets from its own employees. You have to ask yourself, what are they not telling you? Please, Miss Wong, let's just calm down for a minute. Why exactly are you so interested in the 11th Yard anyway? It's just... Yes? Hi, Hibari. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, can you speak up a little? Alice. Okay, I guess I'll talk to you later, Hibari. I know where he lives now, the information broker. <laughs> What's so funny, Miss Wong? <laughs> what? Amazing! She's exactly the same as she was before! <laughs> uh, what? Oh, it was nothing. I was just remembering something from a long time ago. So, you found him? Yes. Then shall we go? Okay. I'm glad I came. This place truly is interesting. It's that woman just now. Did you know her? You saw her? Only for a moment. But the other woman was wearing a company uniform and definitely looked a lot like Mimiko, right? Yeah. Oh, no! We'll follow them. No! Oh, okay. Was it my imagination? I thought I saw someone I knew really well, but different somehow. We can fight it out here quietly. I sense that there are other vampires here. Are they infected? No, they are not cool on children. Then what's their purpose? I can't tell. Not just yet. 
Look, darling, now's just really not a good time for me. If that geezer Zhang finds out, he'll strangle us both, and that'll just be for starters. They don't need you right now. Kane told me you were an expendable asset. <laughs> That's awful! How could they say that about the star of criminal investigations? Oh, talk about killing my motivation. I don't give a damn about your motivation. My brother is out there alone. I can't waste any more time. I beg of you, please help me find him. There's really no reason for you to worry, Jiro. I mean, your little brother is a black blood, after all. It's not as if getting run over by a dump truck will kill him, right? You idiot! Kasa may already be inside the special zone as we speak! And I'm not gonna leave Kataro out there alone for one minute longer! Please, take this seriously. Oh, don't worry, we'll find Kataro. And there's really no need to get yourself all worked up about it, okay? It's not helping anything. And after all, it's not like the Kulan children are out to get the two of you anyway. Then what are they after? <laughs> Kane said the same thing. He said Kasa wasn't after us. Then what is their objective? Why would they risk so much by entering the special zone? Uh, how would I know? Don't lie, you know. Well, yeah... Tell me what they're after! There's something about this place that bothers me. All the special circumstances and Sei's barrier. They've essentially recreated Hong Kong during the Crusade. Um, well, it's just, uh... uh that is... Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 please don't, Jiro, darling! What did I do? Attack! If they had been, then they would have begun to turn immediately. That was quick. <laughs> Yafuri Chow. Damn! I see. So this is your doing. You found me out. Open fire! So we know at the very least he has the power of the hide hand. <laughs> Where is your older sister? Let's not worry about my sister. You're gonna need all the help you've got if you hope to defeat me. I see you've brought quite a few troops to back you up. Maybe I'll start by taking them out first. What? Listen to me, young man. You were a fool to assume you could fight me on your own. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> We'll see about that. Just leave him to me. Take care of the others. Oh, my goodness, that was terrible. It was Kane, wasn't it? Yeah. He used hypnotic suggestion to gag me. If I ever try to talk, that's what happens. This is your treat, am I right? Look, I'll help you on one condition. And what's that? I want you to go see Mimiko and apologize to her. I left because it was too dangerous for her to be around me. That's all. Well, the way I see it, you do more good for her than bad, and I think she's good for you too. But I'm a vampire. <laughs> this is the special zone. Never underestimate the people who live here. <laughs> Whatever. Shall we go? Where should we start looking? I have no idea. Well, a lot of help you are. <laughs> you know, I am well informed about the inner workings at the company. I'm sure I could dig something up.
That's checkmate. Fight you, the great Kane Warlock, hero of the Crusade, Knight of Ozami Mansion, steely blood of Morgan the Witch's bloodline. My name is Yafari Chow, and I'm a direct descendant of the Kulan King and the younger brother of Cassandra Jill Warlock. Have to admit, your fighting's pretty impressive. Just what I'd expect from an old blood. Oh, really? I assume you consent to this fight. in your eyes. It means you're seeing me, Yafri Chow, and not just Kasa's little brother. <laughs> when you swing your sword, put your back into it. The young are always quick to neglect the fundamentals. And that makes them quick to lose to a more experienced opponent. Bastard. Look at yourself. You want to teach me how to fight? How pathetic. Could my skills have dulled that much? No, I just let my guard down. Talk about weak. So this is the best a hero of Hong Kong has to offer? <laughs> you know, Sis said you were stubborn. She was right about that. But at least that made this better than my fight with the Silver Blade. What? Yeah, I went at it with the Silver Blade yesterday, but he was a disappointment. It wasn't even a proper fight. I mean, I just don't understand why my sister is so hung up over a wimp like him. <laughs> now then, what'll it be? I'm sure that as an old blood you have some enormously inflated sense of pride, and I don't want to put you down while you lay there like a dog. So why don't you try to stand? <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to look Lord Dragon in the eye. What? What's happening to you? What? You want to know what? Rage, you pathetic child! Rage! King the Blue Wolf! All right. You're dead! Jiro lays down his life and draws his sword, you can rest assured that not even Lady Kasa would be a match for his immense power. He is indisputably the hero, the source blood killer who saved our world. and I've come to you at... 
He isn't dead. He's just unconscious. Was it a vampire? No, there are no bite marks. It looks like someone just knocked him out. What? But why would someone knock him out then not take any of his stuff? What is it? Wait. This is a stockpile of blood. For vampires. They must be selling it. Oh no. Is this all blood? Battery's dead. Use mine. Thanks, Miss Wong. Good. Chief, it's Katsuragi. I'm in the fourth yard right now, and I've discovered an illegal inventory of blood. I need you to send someone over here immediately. Understood. I've got the perfect person right here. I'll send her over now. She needs to see you anyway. Here, she wants to talk to you. Oh. All right. Are you there, Mimiko? It's me, Kelly Wong. <laughs> What's wrong? Mimiko? how you do it, but put all our resources into damage control and cover this thing up. You men have kept the special zone together these past ten years. Demonstrate your strength! We have to do this. Our honor is at stake. Episode 10, The Order Coffin Company.